this is a standard question based on function composition from oscar levin book in the oscar levin book for discrete mathematics this is the question number 20 based on function composition so let's solve this question also this is a nice question let's solve it the question is saying that f is a function from set x to y g is a function from set y to z we can define composition of f and g that is gof gof is from x to z okay you can see gof is same as g of fx first you apply f then you apply g so this is the information that is given to you and this we already know this is function composition definition now let's see option a option a is saying if f and g are injective then can i say gof must be injective is this true if f and g are injective can i say gof will be injective okay so let's see option a first of all what is the given information let me write the given information is f is from x to y set x to set y and g is from set y to set z in this situation can you tell me what will be defined fog or gof in this situation what will be defined f is from x to y and g is from y to z so this is function f this is function g in this situation you can easily see that gof will be defined right okay gof will be from set x to set z very simple if you have some element here first you will apply f you will get fx and then you will apply g then you will get gfx okay so you can easily see that gof of x that will be first you apply f then you apply g okay so very simple this we already know this is what is given in the paragraph in the first paragraph that is definition of composition function okay now let's see option a what option a is saying option a is saying that f comma g are injective g are one to one then can i say gof will be one to one can i say gof will be one to one tell me this is option a okay that f comma g are one to one then can i say gof must be one to one okay this statement is actually true can we prove it you can easily prove it see very simple let's just create the diagram with diagram you can easily create uh, we can easily pr prove this is set x set y set z okay so you can see this is your function f this is your function g and this will be your function gof okay so let's see if g comma f are one to one then let's focus on gof okay we want to check gof is one to one or not what is the domain of gof what is the domain of gof this is the domain for gof okay and remember this is the core domain for gof yes or no so i want to check gof is one to one or not so what i will do very simple i will take two different elements in the domain of gof I will take two different elements where a comma b they are different is this clear now I will check will they have different images in gof so I am taking two different elements first you tell me will their images be different can you can you guarantee their images in f will be different can you guarantee that their images in f will be different can you guarantee this I am taking two different elements in the domain of gof these two different elements I am taking can you guarantee their f images will be different yes because in option a f is one to one yes or no f is one to one so these images also must be different i can say this f a and this f b they must be different a is different from b so these also will be different okay now you tell me one thing will their g image also will be different can you guarantee that their g image will be different why what is the reason their g images will be different but what is the reason give me the reason their g images will be different because g is one to one okay g is one to one so you can notice for these different elements the g images also will be different so you can notice that this will be different from gfb okay these also will be different so you can notice 
these are different elements in the domain of golf and their images are also different in the core domain of golf so tell me golf is one to one or not for different elements we are ge we are finally getting different images these are different elements and their images are also different so i can say golf is one to one the answer is yes is this clear to everyone please tell me is this point clear to everyone okay so let me let me tell you this proof you can do like this okay either you can use the diagram this diagram method either you can use or what you can do let me tell you proof number 2 proof number 2 f comma gr 1 to 1 this this information is already given to you now let's see the proof number 2 first of all you tell me golf will be from where to where golf golf will be from x to z yes or no okay so if i want to prove golf is 1 to 1 to prove golf 1 to 1 what i need to do to prove golf is 1 to 1 what i need to do tell me if I want to prove golf is one to one, what I need to do? I need to take different elements in domain of golf. Take two different elements in domain of golf. In domain of golf. And what are the domain of golf? That is X. Yes or no? So what you do? So very simple A not equal to B and they belong to X a comma b they belong to x and they are different elements okay so tell me from here can i say f a f b will be different can i say f a f b will be different yes why because f is one to one yes or no because f is one to one so if a comma b are different their f images also will be different now now g is one to one g is one to one so if two different elements you have two different elements g is one to one so their images also will be different so you can see g f a will be different from g f b and that's your proof that you have two different elements and gof a gof b are also different so actually what you got let me write it so you can notice that a is not equal to b these are from domain of gof yes or no Okay, these are from domain of golf. So you can easily see their images are also different. We got golf of A is not equal to golf of B. Okay. In a core domain of golf. So that's it. And this is the definition of injective golf. Yes or no? So golf is injective. This is your another proof. Is this clear? Please tell me. Let me know. Is this clear to everyone? This proof. So very simple. So what conclusion can I give? Can you tell me? From option A, what conclusion can I give? So this is the conclusion. Conclusion is that if these are injective, then GOF also will be injective. Can I say that composition of injective functions is injective? Can I say? that composition of injective functions is injective composition of two injective functions is injective yes or no simply means if f comma g are injective then their composition also will be injective yes or no so is this clear composition of injective functions is injective this is the theorem very simple this is what we have seen in option a now let's see option b so remember option a we have seen option b is saying if f comma g are surjective then can i say gof will be surjective let's check it out if f comma g are surjective then can i say their composition will be surjective okay so let's see this option b option b is saying that f comma g are on to okay now what can you say about gof can I say GOF will be onto? Again, this is true. 
you can easily prove it this is actually true okay let's create the diagram again with the help of diagram very easily you can prove all these things okay so let's see you can see this is set x set y set z this is function f from x to y function g from y to z now the question is saying f comma g are on to okay we want to check gof is on to or not tell me one thing if i want to check gof is on to or not then what must happen this is gof i want to check gof is on to or not then from where i will start what will be my starting point this is what i want to check gof is on to or not so my starting point will be core domain of gof yes or no my starting point will be core domain of gof and this is domain of gof so my starting point will be i will take some element random element here i will take a random element here yes or no this this random element i will take okay and i will check does it have a pre image here yes or no is this clear so remember i want to check gof is on to or not so this will be my starting point so very simple this is my starting point take some element m belonging to set z okay because this set z this is the core domain of gof now i will check will it have a pre image in x okay so first of all you tell me is it necessary that it will have a pre image in g is it necessary that there is a pre image in g is it necessary why it is necessary tell me tell me why it is necessary that this element has a pre image in g because g is on to because g is on to so definitely this will have a pre image here okay now 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 is it necessary that this element has a pre image here in f this element has a pre image here is it necessary yes because f is on to because f is on to okay so that's it so finally did i get pre image for m did i get pre image for m yes i got a pre image for m right okay so you can notice very simple this is actually f this is actually g and finally this is actually gof so you can notice take m and there is a pre image yes or no and there is a pre image in gof what are the pre image in gof tell me the pre image in gof is p okay so yes this option b this is actually true okay i can say that gof will be on to yes or no gof will be on to so this is the proof i hope you understood very simple point agree okay understood so this is how you can prove it so very very simple proof now what is the conclusion that i can draw tell me what will be the conclusion what do you think from this option b what is the conclusion what theorem you can create this is the theorem i can create that if both are surjective their composition will be surjective agree okay yes or no so can i say composition of surjective functions is surjective composition of on to functions is on to on to functions is on to agree yes or no if both are on to then their composition also will be on to this is the theorem from option b okay now let's see option c option c what option c is saying option c is saying suppose gof is injective then what can you say about f comma g if gof is injective then which of them must be injective this is option c option c is asking that suppose gof is injective then what you can say about f comma g which of them must be injective okay so let's see this option c option c is saying that given it is given that gof is injective gof is injective then tell me what you can say about f comma g being injective okay if gof is injective then which of them must be injective let's check 
can i say g comma f will be injective what you can say about them if gof is injective then what you can say about g comma f being injective okay so let's see let's see let's see very simple just create the diagram you can see this is set x set y set z we have this function f which is from x to y we have this function from y to z this function g okay the question is saying that gof is one to one okay this gof is from x to z and this is one to one now you tell me if this gof is one to one then different elements must have different images is it possible okay just think about it just think about it is it possible f is not one 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 gof is injective you just tell me is it possible that f is not injective is it possible f is not one one let me check let me check let me check assume f is not one one okay assume f is not one one f is not one one if f is not one one then what will happen then a b different elements yes or no a b they are different elements they will have same image here they will have same image here g is a function so is it necessary that c will have a image here is it necessary see g is a function so is it necessary that c will have image here yes c will have image here okay so finally what did you see is it possible that i now what did you see if i assume f is not one one then what did you notice then you can notice gof is also not one one yes or no you can notice gof is also not one one but gof should be one one the question is saying gof is one one but here we are seeing that gof is not one one right okay yes or no what did you notice you notice that gof is not one one so if i assume this then gof not one one which is a contradiction so is it possible that f is not one one that is not possible okay is this clear let me know so very simple that if gof is injective then definitely f must be injective what about g what about g is it possible g is not one one is it possible g is not one one tell me is it possible g is not one one i am asking is it possible can you create a situation where g is not one one but gof must be one one okay so remember gof is one one so different elements have different images for example if i take these two different elements they have different images okay so this is what i can do different elements different images okay now is it possible that g is not one one yes it is possible for example unnecessary element i can take here yes or no i can do this can i do this yes i can do this now you can notice that now here you can easily notice that is it possible g is not one one and this is a yes this is possible can you notice here in this diagram you can easily see that in this diagram gof is one one yes or no in this diagram look at this diagram here gof is one one but g not one one okay so that's it so what is the final conclusion then what we can say in option c what is the final conclusion if gof is injective then which function you can say must be injective let me know this is f this is g okay and remember gof is injective if gof is one one then definitely this f must be one one okay so from here i can say that f must be one one okay g may or may not yes or no g may or may not 
B11. Very simple, right? All these questions, they are very simple. Just create the diagram, apply your concepts. Very simple. Okay. Now let's, let's see the next option D. So we have done this option C also. What about option D? Goff is subjective. Now the question is saying that Goff is subjective. What can you say about G comma F? Will they be subjective? Which of them will be subjective? Now the question is saying Goff is subjective. Option D. Okay, in option D, it is given that Goff is a surjective. Goff is surjective means Goff is onto. Now what you can you say about F comma G? Can I say F must be onto? Then can I say F must be onto? Okay, and similarly, can I say G must be onto? So let's see one by one. Is it necessary that F must be onto? This is not necessary. I can create a counter example. This is not necessary. Okay, what I can do? I can create a counter example very easily. This is X, Y, Z. You have this function G. You have this function F. Okay, let's create a counter example. I want Gov to be onto. Okay, so let's let's create a counter example where Gov is onto, but F is not onto. Yes, I can see. I can create this counter example. Okay, I can do like this. I can do like this. And what I can do? I can just do like this. Now notice. Here in this counter example, please notice. Can you see that? Gov is onto. Yes or no? Can you notice Gov is onto? But can you notice that F is not onto? Yes or no? F is not onto. Is this clear? So remember, if Gov is onto, then can I say F must be onto? No, not necessary. It may or may not. Yes or no? This counter example you can easily see. Here you can see that Gov is onto. I have created Gov is actually onto. This is Gov. This is Gov. Gov is actually on to, but you can notice F is not on to. You can also notice G is not one one. You can also notice G is not one one. See here, Gov is one one, but I just want on to. Is Gov on to or not? See the question is saying Gov is on to. Option D is saying Gov is on to. Here you can see Gov is on to. These are the two elements. Okay, and they have pre image so here gof is actually on to yes or no gof is on to but but you can see f is not on to you can also see g is not one one is this clear okay you can notice gof is on to but f is not on to so this is what i'm telling you that if gof is on to then f may or may not be on to okay F being on to is not necessary. F may or may not be on to. Is this clear? Prone? Is your doubt clear? Okay. Now what about G? Can I say G must be on to? Without making G on to, can you make GOF on to? Without making G on to, can you make GOF on to? This is function F. This is function G. Can I say G must be on to? The answer is yes. G must be on to because if you do not make G on to, then what will happen? Tell me. Then what will happen? If G not on to, then what will happen? See, very simple point. If G not on to, then what will happen? G not on to, it means what? It means there is some element in the core domain of G which does not have a pre image. So, for example, maybe this element has no pre image. Okay, let's assume this element has no pre image. Now, tell me if no element is mapping to M, then can any element of X map to M in GOF? Let me know. See, very simple. If no element is mapping to M, can any element here map to M? Can any element here map to M? No, they cannot map to M. 
so if g is not on to then definitely go of not on to is this clear please tell me okay so very simple idea that if g is not on to then definitely go of is not on to or i can say if go of is on to then g is on to if go of is on to then g must be on to so these are all the four questions that we have done these are some beautiful questions based on function composition taken from oscar levin book these are standard questions let me tell you okay so we have seen all of them now i hope that you are very comfortable in the composition of function questions any question comes in the gate exam can you handle it please tell me any question that comes in the gate exam in any exam from function composition are you confident you can solve it let's write the write down all the conclusions okay selvi what are the conclusions that you got all the theorems that we got see very simple point the first point we got is composition of injective functions can i say that will be injective can i say composition of injective functions will be injective composition of injective function is injective this was our first result we have already proven it you can easily prove it what was another what was next composition of on to functions can i say that will be on to composition of on to functions is on to yes or no okay tell me one thing can i say composition of bijective functions will be bijective can i say composition of bijective functions will be bijective what is the proof composition of bijective functions is bijective what is the proof the proof is here okay see we have already proven this composition of injective functions is injective composition of onto functions is onto so so composition of bijective function will be bijective yes or no because of these two from these two this third is coming okay yes or no so if you want to prove this one then you can easily see 1 comma 2 are true so automatically 3 will be true okay so composition of injective function is injective composition of surjective function is surjective composition of bijective function is bijective and these are easy to remember results yes or no you can easily remember them but can you prove them can you prove this one composition of injective function is injective we have already proven we have already proven this also and from these two you can easily create this so these are the conclusions that we got okay we also got two more conclusions but those are not easy to remember okay those you can prove immediately what was what was that this conclusion was that if if go of 1 1 if gof is 1 1 then who must be 1 1 if gof is 1 1 then who must be 1 1 then the first function you apply must be 1 1 okay remember 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 if gof is 1 1 then the first function you apply will be 1 1 which is the first function you apply here what is the first function that you will apply f okay so if gof is 1 1 then f is 1 1 next if gof is on to then what you can say if gof is on to then who will be on to then the second function you apply will be on to okay now combine these two combine these two if gof is bijective what you can say combine these two and tell me if gof is bijective what you can say then f must be 1 1 and g must be on 2 yes or no is this clear so actually this is just a combination of combine 4 comma 5 yes or no combine 0.4 comma 5 simple so these are all the results that we got okay is is this clear very simple
so finally these are the conclusions i hope you understood all of them okay if in the gate exam if they ask you this in any exam if they ask you this then you can immediately prove okay if gof is 1 1 then f will be 1 1 okay yes or no yes or no if this is your gof and this is your f this is your g if gof is 1 1 then definitely f f must be 1 1 because if f is not 1 1 if 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 f is not 1 1 then gof is also not 1 1 okay if f is not 1 1 then you can see gof is also not 1 1 so if gof is 1 1 then this f must be 1 1 similarly if gof is on to then g must be on to okay so you can combine these two and you can say if gof is bijective then f must be 1 1 and g must be on to okay and the remaining things for example here if gof is 1 1 what can you say about g 1 1 tell me if gof is 1 1 what can you say about g 1 1 may or may not okay may or may not is this clear please tell me so very simple now same results the one student is asking for fog okay let's assume fog is defined now what will happen let's assume fog is defined then these results these results will become what see if fog is 1 1 then the first function you apply will be 1 1 then here g will be 1 1 if fog is on 2 then here f will be on 2 and if fog is bijective okay then g 1 1 and f on 2 so anyway you can do all these things is this clear so that's it these are all the questions based on function composition please tell me did you understand let me know all the questions are they clear i have given you the proof of every statement i have given you the counter examples the proof everything we have seen so many questions we have done based on function composition that i hope you are comfortable and you can solve all these questions you can handle all these questions in any exam if they ask you mcq msq any type of question they ask you based on function composition i hope you can do it immediately okay so a lot of practice we have done when you watch any video on the go classes youtube channel which you find helpful then please press the like button and please put a comment also it will help us because we are getting very less number of comments and that is the reason youtube does not promote our videos okay so please help us please press the like button and please put a comment whenever you are watching any video on go classes youtube channel okay so thank you so much everyone